been rapping forever, but professionally, I've been rapping for approximately three years. I got started writing in my room. How any niggas go, what up, mom? I got started how any other nigga got started with this rap shit. I lay up there and was just rapping and rapping and rapping, and I got with some niggas and they put some bread behind me, and I took my team to the chip. Like, well, I'ma say this. Like, I'm a, I'm a street nigga, and this this neighborhood right here, South Baton Rouge, where I'm living at, like this, this is where a lot of greats then live. And I never looked up to no basketball players or nothing. I never had those as role models and father figures in my life. I always looked up to street niggas and gave it up. So me being a street nigga myself, I was already in the streets and people knew me already. So when I came in the game, it was more like, I want to hear what he got to say. And nigga know I lived it day for day. You know what I'm saying? From the block to the cell to the hospital. I done lived it day for day. So I don't, I don't brag on the shit like, hey, look what I'm doing. I'm a gangster. I just be myself. And my swag is that. A little young nigga who get money, sip a lot of syrup, and got a lot of energy. I listen to that a lot of up north niggas me, because I was always, I'ma say this, when I was young, the type of relationship my, my, my mother had me at a young age. So I, I, I grew up fast, you know what I'm saying? I live life at an accelerated pace. So my mom always told me, I told her, I want to get money how you get money. She was like, if you want to get money, you want to hustle, you got to make good grades, straight up. That's how it was. So I always, I always had that intelligence that was always in my household. So I grew up around music. So I listened at your Biggie, I listened at your Pac, and this at six and seven years old. I was listening at you run DMCs and your artists like that that we didn't really listen at down south. So I guess that's where the, I fell in love with the wordplay. But as far as the beats, I love down south beats all day, every day. The streets got to see me elevate. And I, and I didn't really, it wasn't really, it wasn't really learning. It was a more of a growing process. It was growth. Like my, my fans that started out with me day one, when I, when I captured my first following, they watched me elevate. And those who, and those who jumped on it afterwards, you know what I'm saying? The music was always undeniable. Everything I ever put out was undeniable. The shit I just spit was from when I was 15, 16 years old. So you can imagine me being 22 right now. Well, you know, what time it is with me. You can imagine. But I'm trying to get out of the game. We going we really not looking for no deal. You know what I'm saying? We just trying to we always trying to expand our fan base. I look at it like dope. The more people that listen, the more people spend money, the more money I make. So I do it for the fans really. I do it for the love of the sport. You know, 21 grand on my neck without the deal. So let's get it. I'ma say it ain't no negative aspect, but it is a transition that has to be made because being from the streets. I always had the attitude, I was anti-social, I always had the attitude that if I don't know you, I don't wanna fuck with you. But like now, nah, when people run up on me and Kevin Gates, you know, I, I have to, what's up, are you doing? I have to greet them like love, cause they listen at the music and feel like they know me. They develop their own relationship and establish their own perspective about who I am as a person. So when they run up on me, that, that's what nigga I am. I'm that nigga. So like I say, it ain't no, it ain't no downside. It's just a transition that got to be made, that's all. Dead game records. Dead game. Dead game, that's a term that really came from dog fighting. Like, if you had a dog and your dog just ain't stopped, he just kept scratching and never stopped, you know, we call that being dead game. So us dead game, like, no matter what come at us, no matter what obstacle, we just not going to stop and we not going to lay down. So that's what the meaning of dead game mean. A lot of people holler that shit but don't really mean that shit when they say that shit. It ain't really, you know, it's like doing music in the other place. But I like it though, cause this is my city and my city show me love, so what's not to like? Show, man, you can go on YouTube and check out any of my, my I, got, I got like four or five video, uh, like four or five little video clips of me doing a show, you know. I rock shit, you know, and I'ma leave it at that. I rock shit. Like, one thing I wanna, one thing I wanna say, if you're a rapper, I feel like don't ever let the money change you. Don't ever, don't ever get too big for your ghetto, you hear me? Like, the same niggas that I came up under and I respected, now that I surpassed that level of life, I still give it up to them because they was the ones who showed me how to be. You know what I'm saying? The streets is what I got my swagger from, so how could I ever turn my back on that? You know, keep God first, get money, show love. And everything else will fall into place.